Hello everyone, this is chapter 8, part 4. In this part, we'll learn about average costs. So let's get started with average fixed cost. Average fixed cost AFC is total fixed cost divided by quantity, right? Total fixed cost is fixed. I'm going to put a bar on top of it. So quantity as you produce more and more, average fixed cost will look like this. So quantity, right? This is all the costs, average fixed cost. It's going to look exactly like this. And as, sorry for my handwriting, uh, and as quantity goes to infinity, that means if you produce a lot of output, average fixed cost uh, converges to zero. It goes to zero, right? Average variable cost. Again, total variable cost divided by quantity, all right? Average variable cost will look like this. Average variable cost, it will first go down, then will go up. Average variable cost measured in dollars, right? It's, it's going to have a U shape and quantity on the X axis. Average total cost, very easy. Total cost divided by quantity. Or you can actually add average fixed cost with average variable cost to find average total cost. Same thing, okay? So average total cost is actually some of these two, one, two, right? What it looks like, I'm actually going... Okay, so... This is what they look like if you put all of them together. So this is costs, right? Measured in dollars. So you got your average fixed cost, right? Uh, let's say average variable cost looks like this. And because average total cost is the sum of these two, we're going to add them vertically. So this distance plus that distance. So it's going to start somewhere here. It's also going to be U-shaped. This is average total cost. Let me write it better. <laughs> it's going to be also U-shaped. It's going to start far away from the average variable cost. It will get closer to it. Why? Because my average fixed cost is shrinking. So the difference between average total cost and average variable cost is the average. Okay, so we're back. Next, we're going to learn how to calculate all these variable costs. Next, we're going to learn how to calculate all these variable costs. I just want to point something out. So when we say average, 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 right? Fixed cost, graph fixed cost divided by average it over what? Average it over quantity produced. Average what cost? Variable cost, grab total variable cost divided by quantity. Average total cost, again, grab total cost divided by the quantity. Next, let's learn about marginal cost so we are not done with the short run family of cost curves in the short run family of cost curves we have these three average fixed average variable cost average total cost but we also have the fourth member of the family short run marginal cost short run marginal cost measures the rate of change in either total variable cost or total cost per unit change in output Short run marginal cost, SMC, change in total cost divided by change in quantity, or it's also equal to change in total variable cost, change in quantity. And let me tell you why, because total cost is total fixed cost plus total variable cost, right? So you do change in total cost, okay? Change in total fixed cost, guess what? This never changes. Total fixed cost is fixed, so any change is going to be zero plus change in total variable cost therefore short run marginal cost you can either calculate it through change in total cost divided by change in quantity or change in total variable cost divided by change in quantity it's exactly the same thing all right so let us move on here is the example we're going to work on this is the short run costs wage rate is one thousand dollars and total fixed cost we assume six thousand dollars uh, total variable costs, remember, change depending on number of workers we employed. Labor 0, 4, 6, 9, 14, blah, blah. And now I am calculating average fixed cost here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to actually calculate first couple of rows of this. Uh, and you're going to pause the video. And after you pause it, complete this entire table after I show you some examples. And then you're going to compare it with what is out there. Let's get started. Average fixed cost. What was the formula? Formula is right there, but you won't always be given, right? You need to memorize. Total fixed cost divided by quantity. Grab the total fixed cost divided by quantity. Really easy. We are going to do 6,000 
divided by zero. So don't do this first row. We're not going to do it. <laughs> okay, so because you divide anything with zero, it's just not going to work out. Second row, okay, total fixed cost 6,000 divided by 100. All right, two zeros. So this is going to be $60. I'm going to a little bit, you know, <laughs> occupy average variable cost area. Let me not do that. Anyways, so next level, 6,000 divided by quantity, 6,000, 1, 2, 3, divide by 200. So this is going to be 30, okay? 6,000 divided by 320, so and so forth. I'm not going to finish it. Average variable cost, again, very easy. Total variable cost, 4,000 divided by 100. That's going to be $40, okay? Next 6,000 divided by $230, so on and so forth. You're just simply dividing total variable cost with quantity. Next, I have average total cost. You can either add these two up $100 or $10,000 divided by 100. That's again $100. So again, 12,000, 12, I apologize, divided by 200, right? One, two, three, $60 or you can add these two up. Let's do short run marginal cost. I'm just going to call it marginal cost. So the formula of the marginal cost, right, is the change in total cost. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at the total cost column divided by change in quantity. Cool, cool, cool. Social marginal cost. So here, right, changes from 6,000 to 10,000, right? So 10,000 minus 6,000, oops, 1, 2, 3, okay, so that's 4,000 divided by change in quantity. So we're doing change in total cost, change in quantity from 0 to 100, that's 100, so you have $40 for the first level, okay, I'm just going to clear this up, so it's $40. From here to here, two thousand dollar change in total cost. Change in output is hundred. Okay, so twenty here, so on and so forth. Pause this video and complete this table on your own. Okay, we are back. If you have completed this table, this is what you're going to see. Let's talk about this a little bit. Average fixed cost, as I said, starts at $60, then keeps going down as you produce more and more. Average variable cost, check this out. First goes down, 40, 30, 30. It went down, then it started picking up again. So it has a U shape, average variable cost. First goes down, then goes up. Average total cost, $100, 60, 50, 50, okay? It starts going up again. 56, 60, so it's U-shaped as well. So average fixed cost looks like this, right? Short run marginal cost. Okay, this is so much fun. Marginal cost is also going to have a U-shape. And I'm going to draw everything in a second right now. So marginal cost starts from 40, 20. Again, picks up with the 300 level. So what I'm going to do, folks, is this. Let's grab a black screen, okay? So this is the short run family of cost curves. Cost curves, okay? Quantity, this is dollar, we call this costs, okay? So you have average fixed cost. Remember in the short run, fixed cost is irrelevant. I'm going to draw it, but we won't draw it in the future because it is irrelevant in the short run. However, let's keep it in the family for now. All right, so you have average variable cost, average variable cost. You have average total cost, again, u shape, And you have marginal cost has also J-ish U-shape, short run marginal cost curve, okay? And it will cut both average variable and average total costs at their lower points. Okay, keep that in mind. So this is the family of cost curves. I'm going to do it again on the white screen now. Let's do, boop, all right? Again, right, I just love drawing this. Ignore 
short run fam family of cost curves. Ignore average variable cost. You have average, uh, sorry, ignore average fixed cost. We are not going to ignore average variable cost. That's really important. Average total cost, okay. And marginal cost. Well, okay, let's not ignore it here. Um, we have, actually, I wanted to make it nicer. Here, average fixed cost. It doesn't go up here. It just keeps going down. All right. So that's it, folks. All right. So we're not done. <laughs> so this is what it looks like graphically, right? Again, do you see fixed cost here? No, because fixed cost is irrelevant in the short run. So you have average variable cost, average total cost, and you have marginal cost curve. Okay. So we are on Excel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create all these um, average variable, average fixed cost and average total cost. And finally, social marginal cost as well. How to calculate these in Excel. Very simple, equal sign, average fixed cost, grab the total fixed cost divided by quantity, not labor. Okay. And we're going to pull this, grab the corner plus sign, black plus sign, pull it all the way down. Average variable cost, total variable cost divided by quantity, boom, output level. We're going to go to the right bottom corner, pull it all the way down. Average total cost, calculate any way you want. You can do total cost divided by quantity or you can add you can add these to average fixed and average variable costs. Okay. And short run marginal cost is going to be, we are going to open a parenthesis for numerator. Numerator is change in total cost. Total cost associated with 100 units of output, 10,000 minus total cost associated with zero units of output divided by again parentheses. Okay. Quantity in this production level minus previous quantity close the parenthesis boom okay so if you look to we look at the formula 10,000 minus 4 uh, 6,000 divided by 100 minus 0 enter so you pull this down it's going to automatically just move the formula forward okay so let's draw this graph these graphs right so I'm going to what I did I ch chose this area I'm also hitting control or if you have a Mac it's command okay so we're going to insert charts scatter choose the scatter and choose you know this one is nice or if you choose this one this is more like the one from the book make it bigger this is pretty cool I keep doing this um okay I keep moving the graph instead of the entire chart Okay, so let's see. Average fixed cost blue line consistently declining. Let's draw it a little bit. So average fixed cost, it's declining. AFC. You have average variable cost, U shaped. You have average total cost, U shaped. Gets closer to average variable cost. And you have marginal cost. J shoe shape that cuts through the lowest point of both average total cost and oops, average total cost and average variable cost. All right, this is basically it. This is what it looks like, and this is a classic example of family of cost curves. You have average variable cost U shaped, average total cost U shaped too. Starts from far away from average variable cost, gets closer. And short run marginal cost curve that cuts through the lowest point of both average total cost happens at Q3 and also cuts through the lowest point of average variable cost happens at Q2. Let's talk about short run cost curve relations. This is basically exactly what we talked about is just verbally talking about it. Average fixed cost decreases continuously as output increases. We know about this. So equal to the vertical distance between the ATC and AVC. Yeah, the difference between average total and average variable cost is average fixed cost. Number two, average variable cost is U-shaped. Hello, we know this. <laughs> it's equals to 
short run marginal cost at its ABC's minimum. We also know this. Average total cost is U shaped too and equals to short run marginal cost at ATC's minimum. Again, short run marginal cost cuts through the lowest points of both ATC and ABC. And marginal cost curve is U shaped, intersects average variable and average to total cost at their minimum points. Okay. So lies below average variable cost and average total cost when average and average uh, variable and average total costs are falling lies above them when they are rising. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to graph. Just talk about those little bit more, right? Those things that we mentioned. Here we go. The distance between these two is average fixed cost. Average total cost, average variable cost are both U-shaped. Marginal cost cuts them at their lowest point and marginal cost is equal to average total and average variable cost when uh, they are at their minimum. Next, when average total cost and average variable cost are declining, you see marginal cost lying below them when average total cost and average variable cost are increasing not necessarily something we like marginal cost lies above them so we are done with this part i'll see you in part five